Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix error code 403 Roblox. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do here to fix your issue is you first want to go to the search bar at the lower left of your screen. So just type in the following. So here you just want to type in RUN, which stands for run the application on our uh, PC here. Next, you want to type in percentage local app data percentage and just click on OK. And that would actually open up a folder on your PC. Now from here, you want to look for the Roblox folder. So just scroll down until you see Roblox and just open up that folder. So here, this is Roblox. And from here, you want to ensure that you actually delete all of the files or folder that you see underneath the Roblox folder here. So the best way that we could do this is you want to go back again and just right click on Roblox and just delete this one. Now, once you've deleted your Roblox folder here, we want to go next to our Google Chrome application or where your browser or the browser that you're currently using for Roblox. So let's go ahead and open up our browser here. And from here, you want to go to the tree dot item or icon that you see at the top right of your screen. And from here, you want to go to settings. Under settings, you want to go to privacy and security at the left side of your screen. And from here, you want to go to site settings. Under site settings, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the cookies and site data option. So just click on it. And from here, you want to scroll down a bit until you see the section that says see all site data and permissions and just click on it. Then from here, you want to look for Roblox. And Roblox, you just want to click on the remove Roblox option here. That's the trash can icon next to Roblox. So here, just click on it. And from here, just click on clear. So once you've done that, the next thing that you want to do here is you want to go to your control panel or to the installation settings on our PC. So go ahead and go to your windows at the bottom left of your screen. And you want to go to settings. Under settings, you want to go to apps. And under apps, you want to search for Roblox player here. So go ahead and search for Roblox. Now here, once you've located Roblox, you just want to go ahead and uninstall Roblox player here. And from here, uninstall and just click on uninstall. Once you've uninstalled Roblox, you want to go ahead and go to roblox.com again and log in into your account. Once you've logged in, you want to go ahead and just open up any game that you see on your PC. And from there, the Roblox process to be installed again on your PC will start. So from there, just uninstall again Roblox and you should be good. So once you've installed Roblox again on your PC, that should actually solve your issue. But if that doesn't solve your issue, then we have another way for you to try to resolve this issue. So here, just locate your Roblox player on your screen and just right click on it. And from here, you want to go to properties and here you want to go to compatibility. Under compatibility, you want to ensure that the disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator is actually enabled for this one. From there, just click on apply and just hit on OK. If that doesn't solve your issue, then we have another way for you to try and resolve this. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Windows Search again and just type in Control Panel. Open this up and from here, you want to go to Network and Internet. And here, you want to go to Network and Sharing Center. And from here, you want to click on the internet connection that you're currently connected to. So for now, I'm using a uh, cable. So that's the internet that you see here. And from here, you want to go to properties. Under properties, you want to look for IPv4. And from here, just click on properties again. And from here, instead of using obtain DNS server address automatically, then we want to actually use the use the following DNS server addresses. So sometimes with the current DNS that we're using, it prevents us on actually accessing the server for Roblox. So to solve this issue, we want to actually change our DNS server to the other DNS servers that we could readily use online. So one of those DNS servers is the Google DNS server. So the address or DNS server for this one is actually 8888888N444. So it's four eights and the alternate DNS server is 8844. So once you've entered that, just click on OK, close, 
close and check if that solves the issue. And that should hopefully fix your issue. If the, none of those uh, fix actually solves your issue, then we'll have to actually check if the server for Roblox is actually running. So you could go ahead and open up your browser here and just go to the following website, which is status.roblox.com and check if Roblox uh, servers are actually up and running so if the servers are not running then you'll just have to wait for it to run again for you to actually play your games on roblox and that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video